Hello, everyone, and welcome to On the Range Podcast with Warhog Tactical and Kelly Defense. And thank you for making us part of your day. As always, I'm here with my co-host and friend, Rick Hogg. How's it going, pal? Man, Mark, it is going fantastic. I just want to thank the viewers, listeners out there for giving us your most precious commodity, your time to tune in. Greatly appreciated. Don't forget, guys, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbors, tell everyone you know about On The Range Podcast. And oh, by the way, hit that subscribe button. Leave us a rating review. I don't care if it's a thumbs up emoji. Do something. You know, if you like what you guys are here and want to support the show, don't forget, go to patreon.com forward slash on the range podcast, where you will get twice a month, a zoom call interactive with me and Mark, answer your questions, save all the world's problems. I mean, it's just, it's a great time. we got patrons all over the world. So a couple different time zones we deal with, but uh, yeah, definitely a great time. Don't forget guys, last but not least, go to warhog.com, kellydefense.com. Sign up for our newsletters. You'll be abreast to all the latest and greatest that Warhog Tactical Kelly Defense has going on on the range podcast. So thanks, guys. Appreciate it. And we've got a fantastic guest for uh, today's show. Looking forward to it. Yeah, super, super excited about this. You know, going to be very relevant to a lot of folks, people that we care about. And I want to get some good tips out there. And uh, just a heck of a great guy. Super excited he could take time from his schedule and join us. But uh, why don't you go ahead and bring him in and tell us who we have today, Rick. Yeah, guys. So check it out. We've got my friend and special operations combat veteran, Kyle Morgan. He is the owner of Blue Bearing Solutions, and he's also yeah. a, dis- a distinguished service cross recipient. So for those of you that are not savvy with military awards, that is one step below the Medal of Honor. So super great to have uh, Kyle on. He's making that transition from active duty into the civilian world and, uh, we're going to hear about him, a little of his background and his company. So, Kyle, welcome to the show, buddy. Hey, uh, Rick and Mark. Thanks for having me. Um, super excited to, uh, to, to you know, be on the show and, and kind of tell, tell the world a little bit about myself. And I wouldn't want to do it with any other, other people right now. Appreciate it. Um, Appreciate so it, really. thank, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, really appreciate just... you being here. Yeah, man. I, 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 before we get started, I got to ask about, I, I see it right away, the <laughs> swag you have hanging on the, on the chair back there. How, how do I get one of those? Well, hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> right now, this is the uh, demo, basically. Okay. The, the demo um, versions. I mean, I have, a, you know, just a small order I did I, just to start wearing my brand when I'm doing making yeah. content and stuff. So you know, one thing I, I, I'm really, well, I'm grateful for a lot of things, but one of the things as I'm, as I'm doing this stuff with, with blue bearing solutions, you know, it's, it's a, there's a learning curve, but you're not alone. Right. Like, yeah, I say it all the time. Cause I believe it, but iron sharpens iron and, and, you know, the, for people like us, it's, it's, um, it's, it's amazing to, to, to have the shared experiences, whether we worked side by side or in the same building, you know, towards the same mission or just, you know, the military in general, as we transition to know that outside of that, you know, that life that you, you know, given everything you have, you know, there is something else out there and, you know, but, you know, it's daunting. It's, uh, it's, it's, um, it's, it's just a new challenge, right? So, you know, like branding, you know, I'm all about like, I like kind of making content and doing things, you know, to, to sharpen my skills and then impart some of the, the knowledge that I have on, you know, onto others and, you know, in the shooting world and, and, and tactics, but like, there's things that I just don't know about business and branding, you know? So it's like, it's been really good to, to have, you know, people like Rick, you know, with, with Warhawk tactical and, and, um, you know, he, like he's just been, you know, doors wide open to, to ask him anything. And, and, you know, <clears throat> I think that that's huge because it's a, it's a reciprocating door, revolving door, right? Like it's, you know, maybe Rick comes to me and, and, you know, needs something or, or, or vice versa. It's, it's, you know, it's not like um, we're bringing each other up, you know, versus it being a, a competitive, I love the c- competitive world, but, you know, the mission is different, right? A business is, is a way to provide a service or a product, um, but also a means to 
provide for your family and, you know, whatever your intent is, you know, your mission statement for that company, you know, um, for me, it's to help others, you know, by using whether it's like um, sharpening an edge, right, to protect what I care about, what people care about, you know, our families and each other. And, you know, and I, I can do that by teaching shooting, you know, on the flat range or on the range or tactics in the house doing CQB or personal defense in, in their, in your own home, you know, but it's a mindset thing. And, you know, even though like my fight is over in a sense of what it used to look like, and it's looked, it's wore many different faces and, and the fight for me is, is, is just, it looks different. And I want to be able to, you know, stay vigilant as I did on the battlefield, but with my own, you know, transition and recovery and, and in that process, hold myself accountable by not just talking, not just saying something, but living it, you know? And that's where I think that, you know, me being able to do this, like in this forum and, and even on social media already, like it's, it's my, my desire or my, my new mission is to help others without sacrificing my own mind, body, and spirit to do it. Um, you know, I'm, so, I'm grateful for all those opportunities that I've had in the military to do the things I've done and to help others and save people with my own hands and, and take people off of this earth that, um, shouldn't be here. Mm -hmm. Um, but for me, it, it just, it's a new mission, right? So it, it yeah. looks different. It's got a, di it's got a bunch of different things, but you know, having people like Rick, Kyle Lamb, you know, Vern Cortez, uh, Bobby mm -hmm. West at CGS, like all these people, like I look up to and, and I can, you know, basically just be, you know, be honest with them. I, I don't know what I don't know. Mm -hmm. And, and, um, I don't feel like, you know, keeping that circle small is great. And it, 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 it you need to surround yourself with people that bring each other up, you know, it, sure. it, it's not about like trying to cut each other at, at the knees. It, we just, mm -hmm. I don't have time for that in my life. And I know Rick mm -hmm. doesn't. And, and I'm sure you don't either, Mark. Um, mm -mm. This it's not a, it, it's definitely out there. I'm already seeing it in this industry and the, the tactical shooting um, airsoft gear, like mm -hmm. industry, like it's all, it's a, a lot of it's aesthetics. A lot of it's like any press is good press you know, make bold statements, all these things where you won't ever see me do that. Like I, I, yeah. I just lost myself. If I, if I start doing that, you know, there's two things I'll take a stance on in shooting and it's safety, firearm safety, gun handling, mm -hmm. and, yep. and the basic fundamentals of marksmanship. Boom. That, like, that's it. Nailed it, man. Yeah. The, Cause the rest is just cannon fodder, right? Yeah. So, I mean, if, if you don't have a foundation in those two and that isn't solid, like mm -hmm. you can build whatever you want on top of that, but it's going to crumble. Yeah. And, and the, and the, um, the, the consequences are, could be deadly, you know, mm -hmm. of, of that. It's not a game, sure. you know, it's, it's, um, you know, co competitive shooting. Yes. There's, there's a game gaming of it a little bit. There's about being the fastest and, and, you know, being the most efficient, but like, it's not a game. Every round yeah. you shoot, you know, you need to know, you know, where you're in, or pointing the muzzle. Like you know, don't ever point it at something that you don't intend to, to harm, mm -hmm. you know, of any weapon system, so, but yeah. So these. I'm going to help you. Just kidding. There you go. No, you're, you're good. So <laughs> I'm going to help you out Kyle. Right. So go this ahead. is safe zone. This is safe zone. So don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. All right. I, to, uh, being... stick a, to stick a, to stick a plug in there. Right. To go, so your website is what now? Where, where you know, because we talked about <laughs> you kind of got your company started, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, you never gave us. So don't be afraid to sit there and go, oh, yeah, BlueBearingSolutions.com, you know? Uh, yeah. I don't know. So. Yeah. No, get, fair point. The, yeah. the, the, so I've actually, I unpublished the website for right now. Just, okay. just because. And so that's why I'm not, like, that's why I'm kind of leaning towards the, the social media of mm -hmm. just for, to okay. I've been kind of focusing on that. And there's, it, there's a reason I did that. So, um, but I, I will talk, I can talk about that 
like the reasoning, um, not necessarily why it's unpublished, but what my plans are with my business moving forward. Why don't you tell us what the name of the business and what it does and what you're going to do with it? How about that? I'm sure people yeah. love to find where they could find you at. Yeah. So, you know, I started a business called uh, Blue Bearing Solutions um, with the intentions of, you know, using using a platform or excuse me, building a platform to be able to, you know, help, help others, whether it be through training, you know, sharpening that, that edge, you know, training in the shooting or tactical, you know, industry or, or realm, um, to leadership, professional development, team building event, planning, consulting, and, um, you know, I, I do want to get into motivational speaking and resiliency, um, you know, talking as well. So very broad, you know, but that is intentional as I've, you know, already got to this point where, you know, my, my plan is to take the company blue bearing solutions and focus it more on the, uh, leadership team building event, uh, planning for corporate America, gov, uh, federal and state, um, you know, departments, but essentially like without, for lack of better terms, like SFAS team week, you know, but, but bespoke events built to the customer's abilities, their desire, their um, requirements, their, you know, um, basically kind of what they want to, you know, be, be uh, like challenged with. I mean, if it's physically, um, I can definitely do that, but it's not necessarily a go ruck or, you know, it's, it's going to be something of its own. And I want to use all the experience that I I've, I've just obtained through my military career and, and being challenged either on the battlefield or in training in leadership positions and, and, and have people have, you know, the customer, um, you know, be put into positions that and, and assign tasks that they have that are outside of their normal scope. And, and then they get that introspection, they get the, you know, perspective of each other as leaders and followers. And, and then, you know, they get to, they get the real time feedback from, from me as I'm, as I'm kind of guiding them through the event. So a couple of those things are, uh, in the down, you know, in the docket or, or you know, you know, coming up here soon, I'll execute those and I'll have some real feedback to be able to, you know, post reviews, you know, it'll be more kind of designed with, with the, the deliverables that I can offer the, the offerings basically, um, knowing that it will be tailorable to whomever and time location, you know, obviously location's huge, right? So resources available. So that's going to go into it, you know, and, and I just love doing that kind of stuff. Like even just setting it up, like the planning aspect, it's like when we did any sort of training where we would, you know, need to go and meet with, you know, the municipal leadership and, you know, the, the local, the law enforcement and, and, and they get, get venues, get, you know, do all those things and the logistics that go into that. Right. So, you know, that's going to be, you know, one of the primary focuses of the blue bearing solutions and, you know, with that and the uh, motivational speaking and resiliency, um, speak, you know, talking about resiliency and empowerment, um, you know, kind of two, two separate topics. Everything is intertwined because it's me, mm-hmm. right? The common denominator in all of it is you get you, I'm, the service I'm selling is me. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, that's blue bearing solutions. That's not how it looks right now on the surface uh because it's so driven with content of shooting instruction and 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 you know i haven't really went into the tactical you know space but you know what i'm what i'm building is a separate company that's going to be a it's going to have a hard hard rollout um probably mid-april but i'll probably go ahead and start leaning forward with some of this transition stuff with you know with branding and marketing but um, the name of that company will be Divergent Training Group, and it will be um, focused on the shooting instruction and tactical training. Um, but where it's, you know, a uh, full, full package deal, you know, I've, I've got, you know, gunsmiths, I, I've got uh, access to, you know, it, it's going to be a lot of what I've already built with some of the branding as far as the shooting content, but, you know, 
way more, you know, a lot more professionalized and um, it, it's eventually we will be traveling to set up open enrollments uh, throughout the country based on demand. And, um, but I have a team that's going to be working, you know, for me for that one. So I think the uh, <clears throat> look for that to come like here soon. And uh, I'll do a, uh, you know, a, basically like a transition of content as a soft transition as I'm, you know, trying to delineate blue bearing solutions from divergent training group. Now, mind you, I'm the CEO of a one person company at blue bearing solutions and I'll be this, I'm going to be the CEO of divergent training group where we have there's basically myself and, and three others. So, um, you know, that, that company has the resources through, you know, FFL, they have the ability to, you know, do all the, uh, all the, um, you know, machine guns, night vision, lasers, all that. So it's going to be, you know, all encompassing. So I think, um, I'm really looking forward to that. And because I'll be able to, to kind of <clears throat> not separate because I want them to complement each other because it's still me. I'm the, I'll be the primary instructor for it in, in, in both regards. So, um, I want the branding to, to remain, you know, the same as far as like, it's not going to have some, it's not like my outlet to, to let off steam, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's just the way I've come up to, to, to kind of necking down as I've built blue bearing solutions, um, how, how I want to go into the future. Sure. So Kyle, just so I'm, I'm tracking. So blue bearing and divergence are two separate companies. It's not like blue bearings, the, the major company, and then divergence is a subsect thereof. They're two totally separate companies. Yeah. So they're, okay. they're divergent okay, training group. My bad. No, divergent. you're fine. I probably said it really fast. Um, it's all good. <laughs> so like it, it is, and this is the my business hat on, right? Okay. It, it is a separate um, LLC that okay. is owned by myself and another partner. Okay. And between the that, two, we're bringing our assets together. Yep. Okay. To, to that, make that makes a larger training group. Sure. Yeah. That makes sense versus having a division of because. Yeah. We, which is something we've talked about. And it, it's. Right. So. But check it out. So we at Warhog Tactical, in parentheses, me. Um, <laughs> so yes, we we have you know it's working those separate divisions thereof. So in essence, you could say yes, you have Warhog Tactical um, on the range podcast, a division of because it still falls under that that umbrella. Mm -hmm. uh, we start running the product line, you know. But I got it. You've got another partner in there. Makes sense to have the two separate, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, companies in there. Um, I'll just tell you this, man, my hat's off to you because that's going to be a boatload of work um, yeah. balancing two, you know, because you got to think two separate websites, you know, now you're going to have to get separate, you know, social marketing pages for all that stuff. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, well, I know. It, I, I know. It, Trust it, me. Exciting, it, exciting times. And I guess yeah. you're going to have to have shirts that are dual, you know, blue bearing on one side, diversion on the back, you know, just kind of <laughs> which well, one like, am I today? <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. I think. Uh, Oh man. No. So I think, uh, he's crushing my ideas. No, <laughs> no, no. I do a, no, no. a reversible one. So you can turn it inside. Yes. Out. Oh Dude. man. E even better. Multifunctional, right? So there you go. having more than one purpose. <laughs> yeah. Like, remember, remember the old, uh, the old skull caps where you could do that. Like inside was one, you know, the, the kind of winter has with the puffy ball it was mm -hmm. one oh, on yeah, the outside. Yeah. You pull it out. It's completely different on the inside. Yep. Boom. I don't know how many puffy ball winter hats I've wore, but. Oh, those yeah. are coming. Those are making a comeback. Yeah. No, I can moon, definitely moon boots are making a comeback too. And moon boots. We've talked yeah. about that. It's crazy how history repeats itself. There you yeah. go. Um, but no, great point, Rick. I think, you know, I think I wouldn't have felt as comfortable with, you know, with, with doing, doing it like that. If, mm -hmm. if I didn't have the backing that, that I have with it and the support mechanisms in place and, you know, a lot of it is like, I mean, because right now, like realistically, Blue Bearing Solutions, like my following thus far on Instagram, which I love you, and I always will, is uh, is is predominantly because of like shooting videos or, or me wearing kit or, you know, 
but but everything I'm doing, I've been, you know, putting something out to not just like look cool, right? That mm-hmm. I mean, it's 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 great to make a good video, right? And I've been learning that process, mm-hmm. you know, and and um and and it's but there's a message attached to it, whether yeah. it's 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 something that I've been you know like blessed with having experienced in my own life and thinking that. You know, I think this is something. So it's part of my messaging branding. Like, there, there isn't really too much. Whether it's me shooting or me sitting in front of an audience talking about leadership, like, mm-hmm. it's the same message. I just want to have a more, like, kind of um, packaged offering for the training, the shooting and tactical training. Yeah, right? and I think by doing so, I'll be able to get with because i'm not a gear person right i know what what has worked for me you know in combat and in training and and you know but i'm learning a lot about this Mm -hmm. industry and you know i'm all about trying new gear and and testing things and seeing what what works what doesn't you know but i'm not i'm not doing that i'm not going to be like oh look at this this look at this i just got it it's great it's awesome i'm gonna i'm gonna try things and test them but like I also want to get into product development, you know, and, okay. and, and merchandise and apparel. You know, so because, are you are are you doing then product field testing for companies or are you just doing product field testing for their own? So like if a company wanted to reach out to Blue Bearing or I guess it would be under Divergent that would be um, to test a product. Is that something that can be done or is that something you're doing or is it just? Personal? Yeah, no, I no, absolutely. I'm all about demoing you know, testing, doing reviews. And, and, and right now I'm going to, I'm testing some stuff from, uh, from Tenacore and, and, you know, just really grateful that the, you know, they've, they've, you know, kind of provided me with a couple of things that I'll, I'll just run through the gamut. And, and it's really going to help me for my own course offerings, you know, through divergent when it comes to, you know, less than overt, you know, carry or concealed carry, uh, and, you know, and, and then offering a course, you know, for mm-hmm. shooting uh, instruction for a day or so um, yeah. for that specifically. But, um, you know, so that that's a good example of like, yeah, absolutely. I mean, if it's uh, if it's something that I think I could get behind and having these conversations with the uh, the companies and their, you know, the, the executives or whomever, um, and if it'll, if they align with what I am trying to do or, you know, build, then absolutely. Um, yeah, I look forward to those opportunities because I want to be able to, to do that because I want people to, to not just buy the next coolest thing they hear about, you know, from a, from a marketing guru. I want it, I want them to hear, hear it from me and, and 10 of my mates that mm-hmm. are like, yeah, man, that is a good bit of kit. Yeah. Right. And I, I, cause I think that that is something that we should be doing, you mm-hmm. know, like I say, the like collective, we, you know, yeah, um, no, I, I, I agree, brother. You know, it's, um, some people get angry with me and I'll just give you my, my two cents kind of how I do business. So whenever I, um, test a product, review a product, you know, for me, it's, it's at least a 90 day process. Yeah. Right. So, so we're not, it's not like the, uh, you see some of these, I got it. The, what do they call it? The opening, uh, the box opening or whatever. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. They, Un- they, unpacking and review, yeah, unboxing yeah, and review. Yeah. Like, yeah the oh, unboxing. Man, review. look at this right. pen, yeah. dude. Yeah, I just got the oh, pen, you know? Yeah. Don't know if it writes. I could say this that, pen, right that shit up, man. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now I will say this and, and just food for thought for you, right? I'll just give you some of my experience just so you're tracking. So yes, if I'm going to do a review of an item, you know, it's at least 90 days. However, uh, I have done some products where it's what I dub an overview, right? So, for example, uh, Aimpoint just came out with their new uh, duty RDS um, optic. I have faith. You know, I kind of gave a quick overview. Hey, here it is. Did I call it a review? Nope. It was an overview. You know, had it a couple of days, went out to the range, did some shooting with it, um, tested some of the features they talked about. Yep, yep, yep. Check the blocks. Here's the thing. I've run Aimpoint in combat. You know, for a very long time, I, their products are are bomber, right? You, so you it's believe just like, in them, right? Exactly. Like, like you, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't agree more. So, on that, so, so I didn't have to go into a full, hey, beat this thing up, drag it around, 
Uh, because here's the bottom line. What I can do as a civilian comes nowhere close to what an actual battlefield, you know, combat engagement, working yeah. that stuff. You, Trying you know, to replicate so that environment where, you, can. you know, like Murphy's everywhere. Not yeah. that he's not on a civilian range. No. He is. But, but, but like, I'm not going to sit there and go run, trip, fall down uh, on purpose. Right. You know, <laughs> I'm not going to slip, yeah. fall not, over this we wall. Never, we never slip and fall. What are you talking about? Like under nods, my, my, we, we my are jungle like, cat. Yeah, we are the, my jungle the, cat the skills. best athletic <laughs> people, most athletic and you know, yeah. coordinated, and all yeah. these things. Like we never until that one foot's caught in that whatever crap hole and it's stuck, and it's like, <laughs> yeah. and then you're just but, you know it. a couple of things that you 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 hit on that I thought was really important that folks who are transitioning. The number one was. You know, one of the biggest fears in this ind industry is you can see it is staying relevant. So the fact that you're out there learning new stuff, doing, you know, uh, T and E on things and pushing it back out there, telling you what you think, helping these product developers to come up with new stuff that's going to work because you've seen things that they're trying fail. That's huge. And then the other thing you mentioned was uh, the content. You know, I'm just pushing stuff out basically is what I'm hearing. You know, you want to make it better in the future when you have the support network and all that, but you're pushing stuff out there. And that is huge. We, some of our first episodes, bro, I mean, terrible, but <laughs> Horrible. it was out there. It was yeah. out there. You just got to keep pushing it out there. I think we're up to, you know, well over um, coming up on 300 episodes and I'm still not thinking that we are where we're yeah. going to end up at. You know what well, I mean? It's, it's just like, constantly it's trying reps, to get better man. at it. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a great forum for me to even doing this podcast, like in, and, and it, it's, it's a reputation for me to be able to, to work through, put myself out there, you know, work through my story and, and, you know, make sure that like what it is I'm trying to do is I'm actually communicating, you know, mm -hmm. and, and it's being received. Right. So for communication, it's to me defined as like, is when you're a message you're trying to deliver is, done so in a way that it's received by the other person and and then you give them that read back right so it's like you know that is communication and this is just different forum you know to be able to do it but it's also data points so i can mm -hmm. whether from a training perspective i look at my own stuff and i destroy myself as i'm looking at it but all it's doing is like when i say destroy myself i'm just my biggest critic and i think that that's a good thing in a sense where I'm doing that to drive myself, you know, into another, honestly, like I think my shooting, I know my shooting performance is going to, I'm going to take it to a level that I would have never imagined because I've always enjoyed it, but the joy kind of left, you know, for a while. Uh, based on all these other things that I have to do. And, and, and now it's just so, it's just fun. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, I, I thoroughly enjoy, you know, being on the range and not that I haven't enjoyed it, but it's, it just feels different. I don't know if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, totally. I mean, cause here's the thing, Kyle, right. We all kind of hit that point, um, different stages in our life and, and you hit a key thing and I want to circle back with it. Um, you know, you mentioned your store and I want to kind of get that piece out so you can chat that a little bit for our viewers, listeners. But, dude, think think about it. We lived in a world that did a lot of things to our bodies, right? Yeah. And, you know, I will tell you just from my own personal experience, um, when you have TBI, I, I say it in a plural, TBIs, uh, <clears throat> to the extent you don't remember people's names, where now everyone's, hey, buddy. Hey, oh, yeah. man. Hey, hey bro. Yeah. Because yeah. guys I've known 10, 15, you're, 20 years. You're I hoping they tell you their name. Well, yeah. You're sitting there trying to go, hmm. Uh, Somebody in the conversation uh, say something. Yeah. See ya, bro. Yeah. You know, but <laughs> yeah. it's, you know, with me, I didn't realize I had other dramas going on. You know, I got eye convergence issues going on. So it's like, why is my shooting falling off? Why is this, yeah. you know, you're just not performing at that level. And, it, it all comes down to you're constantly putting band-aids on these things man that's it and, and and just to stay in the fight yeah and and yeah like it, it it's not just tbi it's not just you know 
migraines. It's not just insomnia. It's not just depression. It's not just like physical injury, you know, like, Mm -hmm. like I had a fusion on my neck at 36. You got the scar. Like I, it blew my mind. It was my first surgery Mm -hmm. and, and it was the, the, I mean, I was afraid. I mean, honestly, yeah. cause I was like, you're going to do what? And then do what you're going to mm-hmm. move stuff to the side, go back, take things out. I'm like, Oh, but you know, I had three different opinions from mm-hmm. doctors, like surgeons, a yeah. neurosurgeon and, and two ortho spine. And I was not going to be like flippant about this decision. And, but ultimately the last doc was like, Hey man, like you see your daughter right there, my youngest, she's seven now, but he's like, you want to be able to pick her up and you know, five, 10 years. I was like, yeah, he's like, then you need to get this surgery. And if I were going to get it, I'd get a fusion versus a disc. Anyways. But Mm. so, and I'm better than I'm, I'm, I feel better than I've ever felt at least from here to here. And like some of the radiculopathy, but you know, there's so many other things that I've just been able to sense then because I was given the opportunity to go back to, to the, to fighting you know, mm-hmm. you're operating after I recovered six months and I chose not to, mm-hmm. I made that conscious decision because I just started to see things differently, you know, because I started to address so many other things that were going on, whether physical, mental, you know, mm-hmm. spiritual, like wounds that I had. And, and I, and as you unpackage that, you know, it's, if you, you, I've let it overwhelm me at different periods because I didn't know like how to, define it, how to process it, where I would just compartmentalize it or throw alcohol at it. Like it, it, it's, it was one of those things that like, you know, it was a blessing and it was, it was a way for God to say for me, like, Hey, sit down, I'm going to make you sit down and look at what is in front of you and, and, you know, start, start that, that process of, of taking care of all these other physical and not just you know, cause I believe in talk therapy. I've been in that process for, you know, the past five, six years and, you know, but it was always to get back in the fight. It was always like what I would consider putting a bandaid on a massive hemorrhaging wound, right? Mm-hmm. Which doesn't make sense, but it, it does if you come from the world that we've worked in and because I wanted nothing more than to let my, or to not, to not, I did not want to let my teammates down. I didn't want to not be a part of that mission, you know, whatever, whatever it was I wanted. I I had this, like this calling where I, you know, knew that I needed to be the, the world needed Kyle Morgan in that mission, you know, in that where the reality is, is I'm, I'm very grateful for being able to do the things I've done and save people with my own hands from near death and certain death. And, and take people off of this earth that are just the most, the, uh, the definition of evil, uh, mm-hmm. that's the best way I can put it. And, and, you know, but it's, it's next man up, man, you know, it, it truly is. And, you know, I've just come to realize that at a, at a pretty young age and I'm so grateful because I look back and I'm like, man, I don't feel like I left anything on the table, mm-hmm. like in that regard, right. I have yeah. a new mission for sure. And it's to be a good person, a good father, a good grandfather and, and help others. Yeah. That's, that's, that's my new mission. Uh, And and that's, I mean, we talk about that all the time. It's if everyone would do that, life is easy, right? (laughs) I mean, just be a good person. How, how how hard is that? Life would be shamalim and ding dong, you know, um, and everything would be good to go. So you kind of mentioned there earlier, Kyle, you know, if you want to circle back, you, you know, you kind of said your story. Um, I know you've been kind of hitting, if there's anything specific you want to deep dive into um, your transitional period, whatever you want to, you know, hit on that just uh, to give people a little more heads up. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think, are you asking me if I want to talk more? Yes. No. Sure. So um, I think that, you know, I, yeah. So just talking about like my, who, like Kyle Morgan, how, where I was raised, um, mm-hmm. you know, to, to join the army, you know, the basic kind of like bio, like I haven't really like explained that, yeah, you man. know, um, I think, you know, it's, it's nothing glamorous, but like, 
I was born in, uh, you know, central Florida in, uh, the best year of the last gen- generation, uh, 1970, nope. <laughs> 1984. Oh, come um, on. Well, I think it was a good year. There's a lot of good movies that came out then, but anyways, uh, oh, yeah. TBI though, can't Damn. remember the names of them. Um, Red Dawn. Just, just age, just age myself <laughs> big time. <laughs> well, that's, I want to, I want people to know like, Hey man, I've been able to do all this stuff and it's been, you know, 20, just about 20 years. And guess what? I'm not even 38 yet. I'll be 38 in here in a few months, but I got my whole life ahead of me, a whole nother mm-hmm. life. And I'm so excited and grateful that I've, yeah. I've been blessed with that opportunity to wake up every single day in this house with, with these people around me mm-hmm. that, that, that need me and I need them and they yeah. need the, they need me to be present. And that is what gives me the most joy um, I've ever felt in my life. And it was there, it was there, Rick. Mark, it was there, but I either through the mission or through my own misprioritizations, like I neglected it. I neglected it as I should have, or as much as I should have been like embracing it. Not that I was, I, I think a bad father. It was just when you give everything a hundred percent all day long mm-hmm. or night and you go home and all you can do, whether it be because of physical pain or like just being fatigued, like mentally and physically, like is sit on the couch and watch Netflix. And, and then you're like, you don't want to like help out with anything. Like, mm-hmm. no, I'm too tired. I got to get up earlier. You know, there's always this, there was always this, like me prioritizing myself and my career. Now as selfless mm-hmm. as the career has been at times, like I was being pretty selfish for a long time. Like I was doing it for myself, you know, and, you know, excuse me, but, you know, uh, growing up in, you know, I didn't really grow up in central Florida. Like my mom, my mother's family, that side of the family is from that area. My, my father's family is from upstate New York. And, you know, my dad did construction, you know, concrete tile, you know, in Florida, but you know, it's, that's, uh, it's quite, uh, you know, it's a physical job in the sun and everything. Either way, he, we moved around to different, you know, places all, through the East coast, whether it be New York and then, uh, Virginia for a stint and then back to Florida for high school. So, um, I think I went to five different high schools and, uh, wow. and <clears throat> yeah. And it was, um, you know, I think we didn't have money. It wasn't, you know, it was very like focused on aesthetics like what mm-hmm. po- people thought of us, you know, kind of mm-hmm. environment. And, you know, I think a lot of that is like led into, well, I wasn't going to graduate high school because for one, I had like severe ADHD that never got treated or even acknowledged. I just acted out and I, I was like the, the teacher's favorite person, but the, but their like least favorite student. You know, and like they saw the potential in me, but I needed, I needed a family or a, uh, you know, to be like mentored, you know, to be developed. And I just, I wasn't really, I wasn't afforded that opportunity. So, you know, I, along the way, I, you know, I got kicked off the football team because my GPA played football since I was five and my GPA got down below a 2.0 or whatever. And I couldn't play. And I was like, you know what, whatever, um, I just want to. I want to be the cool kid anyways. So that's what I'm going to do. And, um, so like I, you know, but there was one teacher that I had at, at, you know, the school that I graduated from and he used, he actually was in the the army as a, a, a ranger from, I forget which battalion. I didn't even know anything about the army, but he saw something in me and actually he is the one, cause I got told between my like junior and senior year, Hey man, you're not going to graduate. Like I was like, Ooh, so he helped me get on a path to be able to graduate, but also, you know, he would tell me stories about being in the army as a ranger. And I even remember some photos he had shown me and like, it, 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 um, I was like, Oh, that's cool. Um, that looks cool. <laughs> All right. And, um, yeah, but then nine 11 happened. So this was December two or excuse me, September, you know, 11, 2001. But 
it was such a visceral effect. I was a senior in high school, you know, and 17 and I wanted to do something and I wanted to be a part of something bigger than me. Mm -hmm. Like I wanted to be, it was that team, that family that I was like yearning for. And, uh, I signed up December, 2001 in in the delayed entry program. So, you know, pending that I graduate from high school that May or whatever it was, you know, I was signed up for 11 Bravo airborne contract. I think it even said 82nd. I don't know why I, why I picked that or whatever. Oh, nothing wrong with the almighty. Well, it's all, they all, uh, America's guard of honor. So, well, for, for some of us old guys, yeah. we just call it the Almighty, but oh, that's all well, right. Yeah, yeah. I guess that's just the generational humor gap, whatever. Um, anyways, it was a it was a squad. It was a it was a platoon when we joined. <laughs> <laughs> the OG. Christ was a corporal, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks, guys. Moby, Moby Dick was a tadpole. Yeah. <laughs>